So are those B12 shots not working like you expected they would? There are a lot of reasons for this, uh, but first we want to probably look at what you're expecting would happen when you took the B12 shots. Um, most commonly, I would say the most common reason I, you know, recommend B12 shots and most people, you know, get them is for energy and mood improvement. So <clears throat> these are good reasons to take B12 shots, but if you're not getting what sort of improvement in those symptoms or the expectation is not being met, you want to take a step back and consider some other things, such as uh, the type of B12 you're getting, the dosage and frequency of B12, uh, certain lab values, um, uh, other vitamin deficiencies that may be affecting these symptoms, and other diagnoses that may be uh, creating the same symptoms maybe you're overlooking because you were expecting the B12 would help. My name is Dr. Taranella, and in this video, we're going to discuss these and other questions surrounding why your B12 shots are not working. Now, B12, lack of B12 is fairly common uh, in my clinical experience treating patients. I do see this fairly commonly, and the main reason is due to uh, poor absorption, which I did post a video on that a few uh, weeks ago. Five problems to uh, five problems surrounding B12 absorption, or something like that. I forget the title, um, but you can look at that if you want more details. Um, so, lack of B12 is fairly common, but frank B12 deficiency is less common. But it's still, we do see it, uh, you know, fairly commonly. So, uh, so you should be looking at your B12 levels if you have symptoms of B12 deficiency. Um, but here we mainly want to uh, look at things uh, that come up when I'm, you know, uh, my experience treating people with B12 injections and things that come up that may explain why it's not working for you. So as mentioned, the main thing we expect to uh, occur uh, from increasing your B12 levels with an injection uh, would be energy and mood. Uh, now it can occur with uh, other things can be improved, uh, mainly neurological things like neuropathy, numbness and tingling in the feet or hands, um, <clears throat> also cognition issues, um, some visual things like optic, another neuropathy, but optic neuropathy can also be associated with that. Um, and then in more severe cases, when you're really low over a longer period of time, you'll see, um, you'll see anemia. Uh, lack of uh, red blood cell production, and then corresponding uh, shortness of breath and exercise intolerance. I mean, all these things kind of get, you can group them together, but, um, uh, you know, you can, you can also separate them and see how, you know, clinically they may present uh, slightly differently. So if you're getting injections of B12 and not getting improvement, the question is, why are your B12 injections not working? Uh, well, that leads us to uh, the first reason or the first thing to consider when they're not working is what were you expecting would happen from that? Now, as we mentioned, you know, you're expecting that to improve energy. That is a reasonable thing to expect from B12 injections. But uh, um, if you've gotten several injections and it's not working, maybe it's time to look for another solution. So usually after, you know, three or four injections, uh, uh, that would be my cutoff. Now, that's in someone that I don't have any lab values and haven't really uh, taken time to sit down and thoroughly uh, investigate them. They just wanted a B12 injection. But if you're someone that, uh, you know, there's clear laboratory findings that suggest you are deficient in B12, that's a different story. That may take much longer. And some of the points listed below um, you know, as far as manifestation of B12 deficiency, you know, like the neurological symptoms may come on later on. Uh, if you're like, frankly, anemic, uh, those symptoms may take much longer for them, for them to start to regress. So if you've had B12 deficiency for years or, you know, many, many months or several years, uh, all of your symptoms may not get better uh, right away. So you may start to see improvement in the fatigue, but the um, Neurological symptoms may take many months before you start to see improvement in those. So it really depends, you know, what symptoms you're attributing to the B12 deficiency. Um, 
another thing I wanted to mention too is that sometimes people are taking B12 injections for weight loss. Um, and this can be helpful uh, in several ways. May, you know, it can help with increased energy and you may get more movement. There are some metabolic effects of B12, um, but uh, they're a little more subtle and um, this wouldn't be the first thing that I go for uh, in terms of weight loss. Now, if you are actually deficient, you know, it's going to help with some of these other things too. But if you're mainly looking to lose weight and just using B12 by itself without anything else added, um, you know, that's probably not going to, you know, I wouldn't expect to, to get a whole lot out of that. Another big reason I find uh, people say their B12 shots are not working is because they're not taking the right type of B12. Um, so the main B12 that's commercially available um, through like a drugstore is called cyanocobalamin. So if you are getting it through, um, you know, like a, a typical chain drugstore, um, that type of B12 is not ideal. Now, it may still work a little bit, but you're going to get much more benefit out of a methylcobalamin. And that's because the cyanide molecule has to be cleaved off and um, you need to add on the methylcobalamin inside your body. And that methyl uh, factor happens to be, you know, part of the utility of B12 to begin with. The, um, so the two different types, cyanocobalamin and methylcobalamin. Now the cobalamin part, you know, even if it is a uh, cyano, or even if there is a cyanide molecule in it, your body can make the methyl, add the methyl part to it. But if it's already added to it, it's going to be more effective. There are other types of B12, but um, usually uh, mainly what you see out there is uh, methylcobalamin and cyanocobalamin so if you want to opt for the methyl version that includes you know if you're taking it orally um so um so if you're taking one from a commercial uh pharmacy may, that may be the reason uh, especially for other genetic uh factors you know if you're recycling through your b12 very quickly um <clears throat> you need more b12 in general but it's also the you know, the methyl uh, factor that's going to be more beneficial for improving some of the symptoms of B12 uh, deficiency uh, most uh, quickly. Um, so reason number three is possibly the dose isn't enough. So if you're doing a B12 shot, you know, once a month, um, maybe that's not nearly enough. Maybe, I mean, some people have to do it every week, again, for genetic reasons, but it also depends how low you are to begin with. Um, if you're having, you know, uh, if we're thinking possibly that you're having neurological manifestations from B12 deficiency, you need to be fairly aggressive, you know, once a week uh, kind of injections uh, for, uh, you know, probably several months before you start to see uh, some improvement. Again, you may start to see the improvement in the energy first, but uh, the, um, you know, if you're starting to have neurological or even uh, anemic symptoms from b12 deficiency it suggests you're going to have to be at a higher dose for longer before you start seeing you know a clear indicator that things are getting better um so um also you know if you have uh digestive issues you know you may not be able to absorb it from your food and so that means your only source for b12 is coming uh from your injection uh now you can uh, sometimes get it also through a sublingual form, um, and that is better, but uh, better than swallowing it. But again, you're not getting a whole lot that way. Um, so, and then uh, reason number four for B B12 uh, shots for your B12 shots not really working or helping um, is that something else is going on. So, there's other. Um, vitamin deficiencies that can mimic uh, similar symptoms of B12 deficiency, mainly uh, uh, folate deficiency, like you have MTHFR or simply just not consuming enough uh, folate. Uh, that could uh, have a lot of overlapping symptoms with B12 because they, they sort of have a synergistic effect in how they work in the body. Um, and there's also, you know, other uh, pathological things uh, you know, diseases, disease states, and things like that, that can also mimic B12 uh, deficiency. Um, so, and then in addition, you you may correct the B12 deficiency and feel, you know, 10% better by doing the B12 injections, but they're still not working. You're, you're thinking they're still not working. Well, 
they, it may have helped uh, part of the issue, but there may still be something else going on. Hey, I hope this video was useful in helping you think about and understand why your B12 shots may not be working or why they aren't working. Um, if it was, please click on the like button. It helps to uh, help me understand what people are liking and sort of encourage the process uh, for similar videos. Um, if you want to learn more about B12, you might want to check out uh, two other videos that I posted, one on uh, most common symptoms and one on uh, common absorption issues uh, surrounding B12. Um, if these type of, types of topics do interest you, uh, please subscribe to the channel because I will be posting uh, more videos soon, and I hope to see you next time.